Sometimes when you are trying to revise the past, some past experience, some past belief, something from your childhood, something that you think is limiting or blocking you from whatever you're trying to manifest, putting the focus on that is more detrimental than it would be for you to move into the future desired reality to go ahead and assume the state of being the person who you want to be, assume the state of having what it is you want to have. Sometimes the past just continues to nag at you and nag at you and nag at you. And if you're doing a method of revision where maybe you're scripting it and you're replaying the scene and you continue to put so much focus and emphasis on it, you feel like you still can't let go of it. So sometimes that method of revision just doesn't work for some people or for some specific things. And a lot of people will tell you, you need to let go of the past, you need to move into your future reality, let go of the past, just deny your past, just create a new past, become a new version of yourself. Correct, to a certain extent, you should not be so focused on the past that you are projecting that past into your future. It doesn't need to come with you into your future reality unless there's something beneficial from your past that you want to take with you into that desired end. But I understand that sometimes it's difficult to not put emphasis on experiences that you've had in the past while you are still revising it, while you are still trying to make new connections, build new belief systems. If it's not as easy for you yet, because it can be, but if it's not as easy for you yet to just completely let go of that past experience and move on to being a new version, move on to a new timeline, move on to a new life track and just be that person, this is what you can do to help. So instead of just pretending the past didn't happen because you have memories of it that keep coming up and then you're denying the memory and then it comes up and so you're still putting attention on it and excess potential on it and excess importance of like, oh, I'm not supposed to be thinking about this. I'm supposed to be thinking about the new version and am I gonna recreate this experience because I keep putting focus on it. Instead of worrying about thinking about the past experience, just lower the importance of it. So an affirmation that you could use is, I remember when. This is very, very powerful because it's not like you have to forget that you had this experience. Having a past experience does not stop you from experiencing something new in the future. The belief that you are stuck in this past experience or that this past experience affects you in your current reality is what keeps you stuck. So if you are no longer identifying with, you are no longer attached to the memory, it doesn't matter whether it happened or not. That's no longer your experience and you're moving into a new mode of being, into a new life. So use the affirmation, I remember when. I remember when, da 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 da. I'm so grateful that now, da 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 da. So for example, you're manifesting an SP and maybe you want a good morning text every single morning and they don't always text you good morning. So you would say, I remember when SP never texted me good morning. I'm so grateful that now every single morning I wake up to a beautiful text from my SP and they always check on me. They always tell me to have a good day. It feels so good to know that I'm their number one priority and that they're thinking about me the moment they wake up. You remember when this experience was the unfavorable thing, but you are so grateful now that that experience has changed and that you are in the new reality where that experience no longer has importance. It doesn't matter anymore because that was a past experience and now I'm living in a new lifeline where circumstances are different. It's literally that simple. If it is too much for you to go back and have to revise the memory in order to change something in your 3D now, you don't have to revise it. Revision is not necessary. It's a very helpful tool and it can do a lot of good for you. And if that's a method that works for you, then absolutely go for it and do it. But to say that this is what you have to do in order to let go of past experiences, in order to reprogram your subconscious mind, in order to get rid of limiting beliefs, it's just not true. It's just not true. And putting focus on it over and over and over again, if it's not giving you a good feeling, is going to have the opposite effect. It just is. Because you're focusing on it with a level of importance that says, this thing matters to me. This thing is still real to me in my reality. This thing is affecting me currently. If you can change your perspective on the situation, if you can look at it in hindsight and say, oh my God, I remember when that happened. That was so crazy. I'm so grateful that now my experience is so much different. I'm so grateful that I've gotten to a level in my manifestation game where that is literally not even on my radar, but that's so crazy that I had that experience. I'm so grateful that now that's over. It's as simple as that. And you saying that, you remembering 
that this is an experience that you had doesn't mean that you're going to recreate the experience. Your focus on it, your need to control it, your need to change it, your need to have it be something that is so solid in your reality, something that still affects you in your day-to-day -day life is what continues to recreate the experience. You lower the level of importance and just say, hey, that was a thing that happened. That, that thing did happen and that was crazy, but it's fine. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful that now at this point in my experience, that doesn't even matter. Isn't that so crazy how things can turn around so quickly? It's like suddenly everything is different. Suddenly it doesn't even matter. And you can even take it another step further and say that I'm so much better for this experience because it taught me this, this, and that. I wouldn't be in the place I am today if I wouldn't have had this experience. This experience helped me grow and learn and change so much. If I hadn't have had this experience happen to me, I wouldn't have met this person and then this wouldn't happen. Go into whatever story you want to put on it in order to lower the importance of it or in order to make it fit into your story in a way that's beneficial to you. So you can play with it. Things are changeable. Don't feel like you are stuck in this like set of rules and regulations about what you need to do in order to manifest. The only thing that you need to do is know that you are now moving into the state of being a person who is different from the person who was in those bad situations and bad circumstances that you no longer want to experience. You don't have to say, I've never had this negative experience in my life if that is causing you anxiety or causing you to put too much importance or too much focus on it. Just be like, okay, yeah, acknowledge it. Because when you acknowledge it, it's like, okay, I accept that this is a thing that happened, but I am making a decision to move into a state of being where this is no longer important to me this doesn't really matter to me, or this was actually beneficial to me because now I'm in a better place for it. So it really is as simple as that. I remember when this situation was my reality. I'm so grateful now that I've moved into a state of being where that no longer matters. I'm so grateful that I've moved into a space, I've moved into a reality. I'm a better version of myself where this doesn't matter, where this doesn't affect me, where I have whatever it is that you have because you do have it. These alternative paths and these lifelines, they're literally infinite. There are infinite possibilities of the ways that things can play out in your reality. So to say that there's not a reality where this experience happened and then you moved on to have a better experience while having had that experience in the past is false because infinite possibilities. The version of you does exist that didn't have that experience and also have your desire to end after that. But like I said before, the same is true on the other hand. Like literally, however you need to quantify it, however you need to put things together, fit the puzzle pieces together to make it work for you and to make you feel not even that you're in a state of feeling good because that's not what the feeling is, the secret is. Feeling does not necessarily mean that you are feeling the most high vibrational or you are positive all the time or you are happy all the time or that you never get angry or you never get upset. Because even when you have your desire, you are still a human being. We go through things on a daily basis. We fluctuate, we have moods, we have experiences. But the thing is that you don't let those experiences control you and that you still know that you are the person who one, controls your own reality, knows the power of your own mind and can change any experience to your benefit, any experience. So it really doesn't matter what the feeling is as long as you are in the state of being the person who has your wish fulfilled. That can be anything. That can be literally anything. Like, do you think that there's not low vibrational people who have things that you consider to be quote unquote high vibrational or of great importance of, or of great value? There are people who are depressed, who are very angry, who are very stressed that have lots of material things in their lives or that have had really amazing experiences but cannot accept or perceive those experiences in the same way that maybe you would were you to have those experiences because of their state of being. They're in a state of having these things but they're not in a state of their wish fulfilled because they don't feel good internally. So whatever makes you feel good internally, no matter what's happening, no matter what has happened, it doesn't matter. Use that experience as just a piece in the puzzle, just a step on your bridge of incidents 
and make it fit into your story in a way that goes along with your identity, that helps move your story along, that makes you feel good because it's nothing that really needs to be stuck on. It's nothing that you really need to go at over and over and over again, which is why some people will say like, you can't revise with an affirmation of like, oh yeah, that never happened because you need to replace the memory. And it's like, okay, people say they're limitless until they're not. There are maybe certain ways of going about things that you have found in your experience to be more beneficial, but to say that that doesn't work is not true because anything works if you think it works. So if you get to a state where you're just like, I don't wanna think about this anymore, that never happened, and you wanna put this is what happened instead, fine. But if you wanna just say this never happened and be done with it, then fine. But the reason that they say that is if you're going back and you're like, this never happened, this never happened, this never happened, it's the same thing as putting excess potential and excess importance on it. So you keep reminding yourself that this is an experience you want your brain to think did not happen. But if the experience didn't happen, you probably wouldn't be thinking about it because it wouldn't exist, right? So that's why I say, if you want to go back and just say, I remember when this thing happened, I'm so grateful that now something else is happening and I never have to deal with that again. And that releases the importance for you and that releases resistance and you can get back into a state of just being the person you wanna be, you can get back to business, then do that. That's fine. But for some people writing out the new revised story and reading it over and over and over again just reminds them that they are still trying to fix a situation that's yet to be fixed. Oh, I'm still trying to revise this. I'm still working on this. I'm still becoming this new person. No, I remember when that was what was happening, but now things are different. So I don't have to, it's fine if I think about it. It happened, but it doesn't matter anymore. We're moving on. We're, we're way past that. So if you can get into a state of releasing the feeling of needing to change something that happened to you in the past and just moving forward into what you want to see in the future, what you want to see in your present reality. That will do you most of the time a lot more good than continuing to focus on a past situation, whether you want to revise it or not. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed and got something of value from this video. Please be sure to leave your questions, comments, concerns in the comment box below and check out the description for my services, social media links, all that good stuff is down below. And other than that, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I will see you next time. Bye.